Well, good morning. It's a cold day here in the uh, duck yard. Actually, this is the chicken yard now. Um, as you can see, everybody's just hanging out. I have the main gate open over there into the backyard so that uh, they had somewhere to go and run because I was making a lot of noise. I haven't kept you up to date on everything, but uh, here we go. We are separating the ducks and the chickens. Reason being is that we've got a bunch more ducks on their way. And what we want to do is keep them separate. So we went ahead and uh, we had some chain link out in the junkyard my brother-in-law gave me. And so we went ahead and used it. It was, I was thought it was four foot, it was five foot. So we run some T-posts in the ground and then I made a gate big enough for my sit down mower to get through. Um, I welded it up and then I tacked on the chain link fence. The uh, steel was out of the junkyard. That again was a, an old weightlifting set that, uh, that uh, I had laying out there not being used. So now it's being used as a gate. A couple more of those power poles in the ground. They got to trim a little off of this one here. No big deal. We'll do that later. We got a pretty good looking line here. A pretty good looking line here. Did this uh, all by myself. I've never used chain link before. I've always used field fence. So this was kind of a new experience. Uh, trying to do this between snowstorms and rainstorms. So bear with me, I'm kind of going quick. It's supposed to be snowing right now, but uh, luckily it hasn't started. Uh, what I did was in this kind of material, they use these steel bars and they go through the loops and then they use some kind of a clip deal and pull it to the post. Well, I'm using a post. So what I did was uh, basically I drilled holes. Now these ones here are fiberglass. Very interesting. But I uh, went ahead and used screws and screwed it every so often all the way down. That cleaned up real well. My brace there is an old uh, garage door operator rail. Cut that down and used that. Now we open up here. It's a little different on the outside. I only had some silver paint, so I went ahead and painted it. But it still looks okay. These hinges here, kind of unique. This is normal. But this, um, I got that in a set for something, and I don't remember what it was, but it was never used. So I went ahead and used it on this one. Bolt goes all the way through. I can adjust the uh, gate if I want. On the building down here, I'm not quite done yet. But uh, I did the same thing, except this one's a steel strap that I bought at uh, the Home Depot. I still have to cut the old fencing off, clean it up, get that done, and then we can move on to the, uh, to the next project. I actually have two. The valve on this tank broke off, so I can't open it. So as you can see, we're having a massive problem right now. I need to pump this water to the new tank that I just put in over there for the raspberries. And I will do that, but not in freezing temperatures. I don't want my pump to crack. It cracked once and I had to JB weld the whole thing. So I'm not doing that again. <clears throat> but here, it's gonna be the new duck house. It's gonna be six feet by 16 feet. Now, it's not gonna have total 
six feet, of course. It'll be five and a half feet, something like that. But what I'm looking for is uh, four square feet per bird. And I'm going to have 12 laying hens uh, in the duck side with one, hopefully only one male. So that'll happen. We've got some more trees that are going to go in over here. I've got some stakes. I don't know if you could see that. There's a stake there, a stake there, and a stake there. I have to repair that building down there and get some gutters on it so that the water can be channeled off to the side instead of tearing up the wood. Down here, I did the, basically the same thing. Uh, I've got a T-post. This time I'm using wires, of course. Um, this is stainless steel wires. I've got the, uh, the brace on it. Tight as heck. Fence is good and tight. Now I should probably run a wire through all this up here at the top. But again, I'm only protecting... A I'm not even protecting anything. I'm just separating ducks and chickens, so I don't really care. The outside perimeter fence is probably less formidable, but it's field fence with chicken wire on it. That's been here for many years now. And we'll get some bushes in here. The reason I'm planting more trees is to give them more shade. Get that duck pond fixed up. If we're going to get started on this here pretty quick, and that's a whole nother video. So the fencing, the yard work, getting prepped, pretty much done. I still have to do the lock on this. And I guess I should cut off this old ground wire. That's the old ground wire off the power pole. <sighs> I think I'm going to open this gate inward towards the chickens. That way I can put a stop on this side and a lock. And I can put a piece of wood on this side. But we're not going to have chicks in here, so I'm not too concerned. The big birds can't squeeze through that. Well, I think we're ready. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hopefully... It doesn't start snowing any minute, but my fingers are freezing, so you take care. We'll talk later.